If you wanna fucking nah, no offense, but if you wanna flipping know what happens in this. I've recorded in a while. Oh my days, this is crazy. Uh but you wouldn't really know. I literally have like hours of footage and I still haven't even right edited it. Literally I played like I could generally say I played like 20 games, recorded footage for all of it, Spider-Man, uh, okay, Spider-Man, the Batman games, the Telltale Batman games, I'll get to Arkham soon, uh, Spider-Man, uh, Bioshock, uh, I got to episode 3 of, uh, oh, that Logi scared me, I forgot they do that, of Wolf and Among Us, uh, Last of Us, both the Last of Us games. I just played so many games. So many games. All the Uncharted games, you still haven't seen that. Oh my god. And you're thinking, oh, it's just a PlayStation game. It's not a peak. I'm playing, I'm saying right now, I only got bad. It's only because I got bad memory. That's why I don't remember nothing, fam. I played so many games, and the only thing that's out on the channel right now Wolf Among Us Episode 1. I haven't even touched Wolf Among Us in like a year, though. That's the thing. And I'm on episode like three, two. Mm. I think I'm on two. I think I got like halfway through two, yeah. Yeah. No, I'm just replaying Until Dawn, which is a game that I just keep on referencing. I think, yeah, Detroit Become Human. I kept on talking about it in Detroit Become Human. Jeez, Josh. Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. If you want to watch the first five minutes, just go to someone else's channel still. Can't be asked. I've got your note. Nice, you can make it. Okay, cool. I'll just explain it for you. For those that seem interested and don't want to leave. Basically, you see this girl. The girl that you just saw with the glasses is this girl on the screen right now. That's her twin. And she basically has the hots for a person called Mike. And then everyone's found out. Everyone in their friend group, yeah. Uh, now they're just staging a prank because Mike's already taken it, so they're just trying to take the piss and trying to laugh at her. And now they're doing it right now. And now, yeah. Rest is history. This is a big moment in the whole game. Maybe we should start I'll try not to spoil what happens in you know, later. Making out and see where it goes from there. Cool. Mike's a dickhead. Uh, yeah. Remember the tattoo. Remember the tattoo. See, look. I forgot her name. Beth is looking at you. Beth is looking at you right now. Look at her. She's gonna like, remember the tattoo, guys. Remember the tattoo. Big man thing, I'm not even lying. That tattoo is hella important. That tattoo has more screen time than like 1010. My days. Uh, yeah. Mike Hi. seems like a dicker oh, now, oh but you will actually be the goat by the end of the, the game. Trust. What are you doing here? Man got uh, a whole Anna. self oh, sorry, it's and it's not even doing a selfie. Stupid prank. Uh, Taking the piss. You guys are jerks. You know that? Anna. Everyone takes the piss out of Hannah because she's just an idiot. Oh wait, Josh. I know this. Uh, what did I do the first time? Oh wait, Josh. 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 Fuck. Guys, there's someone outside. What the hell? Hannah. What's going on? Where's my sister going? It's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just, just a, a prank, Han. What did you do? We were just messing around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Hannah! Hannah! My bad. So, should we go after Look how mad. It's weird losing no, him. No way. His jersey. Wants to see right now, Mike. Always go fast, lads. Think about Antulunia. 
Wait, I'm just waiting for a quick time. I haven't played in a while. Footprints makes more sense. Oh yeah, there was a person looking at them, by the way. If you didn't realize. If you didn't know that, sorry. Oh. I forgot. I think I always follow the noise. glasses on. My face is right up to the screen by storming with my glasses. Just to make it more HD in it. <laughs> uh, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, this game, I was so stupid. I actually loved this game so much, yeah. Cause I'd played it previously. I played it with my uh, cousin before, before I had a PS4. So when I had gotten my PS4, this was the first game I properly had and I properly played. Probably? Properly played. It was literally the first game. I'm not even joking. And this game has so many quick time events. This game is the fundamental reason why I'm good at quick time events. Because like when I was playing Walking Dead or all those Telltale games, I was not playing fucking on PS4. I wasn't playing on PS4, I was playing on PC or something. Well like I'm doing with Wolf Among Us. But this one is the re this game is the main reason why I'm good at quick time events. Where you will just see or oh, triangle. That, that's what got me good, but like you could clock how difficult it was because this is the first time I ever like properly held this game Because like when I was playing with my cousin, I wasn't playing like Like properly like I wasn't the only one uh, Playing basically I played some he played some I played some he played some in it Yeah Let's carry on. I'll try not to go into the thing Hannah! Hannah. <laughs> Tried it. Oh, that actually is a thing. Hello? Hello? The coolest thing ever to be introduced in a game. In my opinion, totems. This game actually, this shit changed everything. Every super massive game, which is what who made until dawn, like they made Man of Medan, uh, Little Hope. I forgot the new one. The new one's actually good, but I forgot what it was called. The vampire one. Uh, oh shit. Yeah. They'll always have a premonition thing, and it started because of the totems. The totems are so interesting. Because this one, this game has m uh, multiple choices, by the way, if you didn't realize that. As you can see, it's like inspired by like heavy rain and that. Heavy rain and Beyond Two Souls. Shit, man. Fuck off. What the hell was that? I think a year, no, two years later, the, the Detroit came, comes out. Hannah. Oh, look, Hannah's right there. I just saw her body. I was like, "What the fuck?" Hannah, oh my God, you must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. I'm so this dumb. is actually a G. Gotta run! Iconic. No! No! Shit! No! No! Why did I leave my head? <laughs> oh my days. Crazy choice. <laughs> it's 
see how it came through. Rest in peace, man. Okay. AJ Hill. This guy is just going to take the piss. Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. So, you have committed to commence <coughs> with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, Sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up the card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is essential to answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. This guy, uh, Dr. Hill, he will basically be judging us the whole game. After a chapter ends, he will we'll speak to him every single time until the last one because shit goes down, obviously. But I can't tell you that. Sorry. So, how... Did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Okay. I don't think I've never seen Honestly, someone. I've ever that, seen someone say it makes you happy. Do you think it is that Every playful uh, uh, playthrough I've seen. Sorry. The scarecrow. He said, "What makes me uneasy well, about I the pic?" Let's see. <coughs> for a period of time, say a week, for example. <laughs> oh no? Why not? I, there's a fine line between the peacefulness of solitude and the loneliness of isolation. Perhaps this is something we can explore in the future. Hmm? Because I'm afraid we're out of time. <laughs> Not for now. Until the next session. And uh, until then, try to surround yourself with friends in a place that makes you feel safe. My man's lips always move. Never just. Like, it's not even that he speaks, it's just always just. <laughs> you know what I mean. You will see. Ooh, death. Ooh, death. Oh, death. Ooh, death. Won't you spare me over till I'm not a year? Fam, said I don't go work, but. Vocals, like, like, I about to say vocals. Shit, it's actually hard to speak. My bad. Um, vocals, vocals. There we go. I can see they can hold on me. Bam, bam, bam. Devil takes hold. Mercy on my soul. Mm. Of the death, consider my age. I'm 
get a flashback. She was listening to this song, man. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Wait. Literally, all of them are easy, except for getting all of the clues for the mystery man. Oh my days. Yeah, when I first played this game, yeah, I actually got all the totems. Well, when I played on PS4. I don't know where all of them are, that's the thing. I only know the first, like, oh no, I only know one, and it's the one we just played, because that's the first one in it. No, there is one individual we're considering as a person uh, subtitles. His whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old <laughs> sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Well, thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address Big the Joshua. That's the, the that's the guy that was sleeping. I know you're that all Beth tried to wake up. About me. And I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year. But I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this. And that uh, I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together. And I'm thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget. This for, party like porn stars. For the sake of my sisters and, <laughs> you know. Okay, so let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Yes! <laughs> Think we were done? Nigga, no. The heaven or hell. We were just so. Memento Mori. I forgot what that meant. I forgot what that meant. I remember I watched. Yeah, this guy was who showed up. Oh, yeah, you already saw him. He's the guy that was trying to reach for Hannah and Beth. Sam, Hannah's best friend, diligent, considerate, adventurous. Yeah, she's basically the main character of this game. No, it's basically Mike. I'll say it's Mike. Because we spend more time with Mike, innit? Well, you'll see it. Oh, pardon me. Hello? Someone there? Did 
It's nine o'clock. I was trying to play this at nine o'clock. I was trying to play it late so I can actually just finish the game until dawn. Because there is a way to do it. I remember, oh, it wasn't even the first time I played. The first time I played, I had to have a break because I, cause I played so late. And I was just stuck on trying to fucking figure out the not the key mi not the key binds, but where everything was on the PS4. Okay. Yeah, I've been on this. Leave me alone. I should really take about take away your tutorial. The gates busted, climb over, Chris. Josh Washington. Right. Who are you for? Okay. Yo, how did I get there? We climb, cause this girl's just good at climbing. Always pick quick. The quick option, the quick option, until one time. Always be quick until the end. That is literally the more. When it tells you either be quick or do safe, it's only by the end you need to do safe. Yeah, I'm gonna play this game once. I'm just gonna play it to the best I can. I saved everyone, by the way. Uh, I'm not gonna say how, I'm not gonna say who everyone is. But, yeah. First try, I'm not even joking. Everyone, when I say everyone, I mean everyone. If you play the game and you know what I'm talking about, or you know of the game, everyone, especially that one certain person, I saved everyone. I can't lie, that one certain person, I knew what the thing was though. Okay. Huh? Damn it. Come back. Come on. I know this is a trick. There's a trick to doing it, but I never do it. You just leave home. <laughs> yeah, that's how you. That's how you do it. You have to hold. I'll probably put a diagram on the screen. But you have to hold. Uh, I don't even know what it's called. The things that stick out from your PS4, you have to just hold that, nothing else. And just be still. Apparently you have to low-key move it. I've never, I've probably done that by accident. I don't, I can't lie, I don't have the method to it. Because like, I replayed it, yeah, but my friend was playing. My, uh, nah, I was playing it, yeah. I played it for like a fourth time. But my friend was, um, what's it called? He was making the decisions whilst I just moved around for a minute. Cause yeah, cause we were doing share play and it was fun, but I can't lie. Uh, at the end, I just failed the don't move, even though the first time I just did it. So I need to remember that strat. Don't hold it with your thumbs. Your thumbs need to leave. As soon as it says don't move, fucking like that. I said like that, like you could see what I'm doing. Fucking, hell. I'm dumb. Okay, you got important shit coming. I'm gonna just stop speaking. I'm gonna try and get all the totems. I'm gonna try and get everything. I got all the totems as well, yeah, first try. Oh, I already said that. Okay. Indigenous people and their but and butterfly prophecies. Uh, tribes who once lived in these mountains believe that butterflies carry dreams and prophecies of possible futures. Uh, the the color of the butterfly indicate the nature of the prophecy. Uh, black butterfly. Ugh, I can't speak. I actually can't speak. 
I can't read normally and now there's just shit in my teeth and I just can't read anyway. Uh, so you got death, black bo- black <laughs> black butterflies prophesies the dream is death. Danger, red butterflies warned of dangerous events. Loss, brown butterflies foretold of tragedy tragedy affecting friends. Guidance, uh, yellow butterflies offered visions to help and guide. Fortune, white butterflies uh, brought dreams of luck and good fortune. See, look, it's not always bad. Those last two, uh, those last two and danger are good. Danger is literally neutral, I can't lie. Loss, loss always has to do with death and death. Loss and death just always have to do with death in it. It's just when you watch death, when you have a death totem, is is specifically a death for the character that picks up, and loss is is for a different character. Guidance, it can literally be anything. You just need to figure out yourself. Uh, fortune, you'll just see something. Uh, you just see something good in it. Like say, if uh, if you think a character dies, there will be a, a guide. There will be a fortune tone that will show that they're still alive. You know what I mean? It will be helpful later. Oh, I didn't even see that. I think this this will be the last. Oh no, that's not even the last of the tones of the tutorials. Okay, okay. Fuck off. I need to t- let me take off tutorials. I never need them. Oh, I can't. Ugh. I never need tutorials. See that? Yeah. Exactly. That's what guidance does. It's literally just. It, it's literally. That's a neutral one as well. Like you can choose guidance, but it just makes you confused, and it it doesn't make you feel safe. And I doesn't. It makes you feel safe. But uh, but like you just have to interpret it, innit? Cause it'll show that bird. You don't know what's gonna happen to that bird. You don't know if that bird's gonna peck someone's eye out, or if it's gonna fucking uh just peck. I don't even know. <laughs> Let me know what for, man. My days. Where is this? Okay, I get with Chris. This whole game, I'm literally just aiming for Mystery Man. I'll just do shit just for Mystery Man. Because that one's just difficult. That's the one I got the least out of. I got all of the... The... The Twins picks. That's it. Pass beyond, is beyond control. Wow, graffiti all the way up here? That's probably machete, man. That's a slip. I don't care what no one says. Um, methodical. Uh, Chris has a crush on Ashley. Protective. Humorous. Chris is alright. Oh, so They're all a bit wet at the start, but you'll grow to like them at the end. I'm not gonna tell you. You gotta see for Except for a certain. It's this way. Where? Right around here. It's gonna blow your mind. Just Chris just acts like that, and it just fucking annoys me. I'm gonna blow your mind. Like what? What are you talking about? Okay. She always do that pose when she's trying to open a fucking locked door. I just clocked that. Hand by the waist. It's definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah, I swear the moment I got. Yeah, that's cold. They'll back. always speak. So it's the first one. Nice. You think we'll get a visit from America's most wanted? 
looks like someone thought so. Victor oh, Morgan. This band most of the year. Nobody comes up here. This game is so sick. They're speaking and shit's just coming out of my mouth. I could literally leave this and she'll still be speaking. I know it's not that impressive, but so is to me. Anyway, Milgram, uh, Victor Milgram, sex male, height, 6'2". Oh, 6'2 is 188. Okay. Uh, last known address, Blackwood Pines. Last seen, uh, the 16th of March, 1998. Uh, wanted in connection with uh, first degree arson, offen arson offense, as well as uh, various death threats. So maybe that's the guy that they were talking about in the news, isn't it? Oh, what she, what Sam was listening to. Uh, anyone with information regarding this uh, dangerous criminal uh, should contact the BPMC as soon as possible. Uh, Blackwood provi uh, Province, Provincial, Provincial, Provincial. I think Provincial is the word. Uh, mounted a uh, constant. Okay, I'm not saying that. A police mounty. Oh, okay, this is French. This is uh, I think we're in Canada right now. I don't think we're in America. Oh, we're even a lot. No, I think we're kind of. Uh, we're in Canada. Or something like that. Ta da! Pretty rad, right? Yeah! Come on! You. Uh, this is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, now you go ahead, Grizzly. <laughs> okay, man. My bad. <laughs> Alright. Here goes. Paddy. No. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. Nah, no, I don't think so, girl. I actually just love to hate this guy. See, look. Bang. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. See, look. This is an important one. Never harm nature in this game. Never. You will actually just get fucked up. You will actually just get fucked up. <laughs> Your ass just got sacked. <sighs> hey, sharpshooter, a ride's coming. Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. <laughs> See that crow? That crow would have attacked her if we shot the scroll. Nature is everything in this game. That's probably the most important one, to be honest. You you will actually get fucked if you kill uh, animals. I I don't know how he keeps it all. Or if you just harm them. That'd be a wreck. Well, we're all just gonna have to keep an eye on him. Must be going through so much in his games. Hey, that's weird. Door's locked. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked. Wow. He said that. What people? Oh, uh, what? He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. Let's go. Let's go, Sam. The blondies, cover man. For you. Oh, real gentleman. His hair is annoying as well. Literally a goat, though. <laughs> I'll tell you this right now. Sam is the only character that probably. Nah, okay. Let me not just say Sam. When you see all of these characters for the first time, Sam. How long is this gonna take? It's a big mountain. Yeah. So beautiful in the day, but at night just feels menacing, like a sleeping giant. You gonna publish? What? Your pretty poem, "The Sleeping Giant of Blackwood Forest." Oh, shut up! What a crazy place to set up house. You know, 
matter how rich you are. Oh, I, I, I forgot about that. Okay. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, fucking what was I saying? Yeah, out of all of the characters, when you first meet them, they are not the same by the end of the game. It's literally, I think it's only like, not even Sam. I don't even know why I said Sam's name. Uh, uh, ghost. It's probably, it's probably Emily that says the same. Yeah, it's probably Emily. Out of all of them, it's definitely Emily. Everyone that's played the game or knows about it, just knows. Emily's just a bitch. Cool. We're doing a we're doing a share play still. Let's go. Scratch that. We are on our own. Got nothing else to really look at in this room. Really looked at all that. My bad. I text someone. <laughs> That's a gun. Don't refresh. Don't refresh. Okay. So we'll move for Josh. Enter car. It's not a car. Definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, I don't know, I've kind of been worried. No, no, it was it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> Would be a friend zone, you know but let's just, let's just at least he isn't interested in her, so it's calm. Uh, you know what, you're right. It's not really a vile. You know how Josh and I met? Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room, I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra? I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or we're talking to some other Boom. person entirely. Butterfly effect. Boom. Butterfly effect.
Okay, we back. And we're fat ass over here. You'll see. And I'm not talking about weight. Me got us off. She's probably the one that changes the most. <laughs> and you will see. Uh, confident. Jess. Jess, uh, Mike's new girlfriend. Yeah. Mike's old girlfriend was, uh, Emily, by the way. She's the, um, the one that went like, oh, it's just a prank hand. But you, pro you guys probably knew that. Uh, she's trusting and irreverent, irreverent, irreverent. I don't, I forgot what irreverent means. Every time I play this game, I always search up what it means and I always forget afterwards. My days. She is confident, bro. Because she's wearing jeans in a fucking place like this. It's just a darn pump bitch. No one's been wearing gloves. You're on a fucking mountain. Like, what? Fucking wearing super dry. Not even super dry. Jess is the type to wear fucking Canada Goose. Because she got money like that. This bitch goes on to later to say that she... <laughs> she lost like three phones in like a year. What the hell? Jess! Hey! Jessica! Over here! Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us You out? didn't have to do that, Ready you please? fucking pit. I had to slam on the door. Like, why do that? Oh my god! I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there, and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. It's all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh -huh. Hey. <laughs> well, well, well. What do we have? Chris. Here? My goodness. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind oh, he does of that anyway. erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. No reason Mike to Mike and M split. We're together. Whoa. Drama. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. M's out, I'm in. That's sneaky oh. behavior, I can't lie. That's your friend. Mike got all, all right, the bitches right, on his stick in this whole game. Only Ashley he doesn't he doesn't get. Uh, you guys go ahead. I don't know about Sam. I'm Sam's iffy. Here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? <laughs> I mean, you know, whoever. Uh huh. Sam. <laughs> Did you see this view? So. I mean, holy cow! Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lawn yeah, this like is Emily. right where the cable car ends? This fucking bitch. First time you see her <laughs> just complaining. Uh, Emily, intelligent, Mike's ex. She actually is intelligent, let me not lie. She's resourceful as well. Persuasive, yeah, she's all of those, let me not lie. You can hate her, but she's actually all of those. You will see. Mm, Matt. Motivated. Uh, Emily's boy new boyfriend. Ambitious. Uh, active. Now, there's one thing I can do. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, man, you're a bit. And where's the bell? It's a bit sneaky what you did as well. Is that? I told him. Well, you can't pick shit up. If you have shit, if you have shit in his hand, you can't pick anything up. <sighs> getting chills. We're almost there. No, I mean getting kind of creeped out. Oh, uh, yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. Definitely not gonna feel like a regular party. <sighs> I mean, what do you think? <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Let me not lie, this game does that a lot. <laughs> you got the main man himself. Fucking intelligent, driven, persuasive. This is the same. I don't know about persuasive, but uh, but driven is probably the uh, the most 100% thing about this guy. He is driven. Let me not lie. <laughs> you guys. Michael. Go. You really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I almost clocked you. Now. Nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Come on. Guys, we're all friends here, right? 
No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. We're up in the woods, it's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being, you always get like this. Hmm. I can be stuck. I can be sat here for eight hours. If it doesn't have the the ring around it that's going down, then you can do this forever. We're all friends here. The thing is, I'm trying to get Emily's like on me like hella high. You know what I mean? I'm trying to get her like bar high on me, cause there's certain shit that will happen, and it'll be better if she likes me in it. Cause she's just a fucking Michael, work if she doesn't like us. Emily and I are together now, and that's just the way it is. She finds it. She says she finds it. I'm not going to tell you again. Do we understand each other? Well, I thought maybe we can move past all this. Sorry, Mike. You're a goat, but like, I need to deal with this bitch. Yeah, Mike. No, no, no. No, it's totally cool. I'm just going to head down the road, be all mature and shit by myself over here. Peace. I think you got the message. Kind of hot when you get all alpha, you know that? <laughs> Could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah, all the bags. Uh, why? I need to go find Sam. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. This really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important. Stop the cat. Please. All right, fine. If it's so important, I guess I can pack horse it the rest of the way. But you owe me one. Excuse me? Well, then we're even, at least. I'll think about it. Just be careful. See you up there, sweetie. Thank you. Stop the cat. <laughs> Stop the cat. She got a toe, that guy. Just clocked this. They all got toe next. Okay, you had bitch number one, then you got bitch number two. Oh. Voila. She's a different type of bitch, though. Academic, uh, Ashley has a crush on Chris. Chris has a crush on Ashley, so you just know. One plus one equals two. My days. Now, one plus one equals 11. What am I on about? Uh, inquisitive, uh, full threat. What does full fright mean again? Did she, uh, did they just speak up? Something like that. Uh, inquisitive. Yeah, this is true as well. Academic. I don't know about academic. They, they don't really show how they are, like, academically in this game. Not really. It's always physical or mentally. Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. And not in the friend zone kind of way. They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. Oh! oh God. <laughs> oh. Hey, whoa. Oh. Sorry there. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare Jeez you. Louise, well, Matt. I did mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real oh scare you. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Hey, well, man, I'm not really sorry, Ash. Damn. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. What are you looking at? Uh, it, Let me check it out. Uh, it's busted. Uh, um, I ain't gonna lie to you. Go ahead, knock yourself out. Yes. Ooh. Son of a bitch. Seriously, Emily? What the hell, man? Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. Nothing, you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. God I... damn it. Matt. Hmm. <laughs> 
Where's this? Where's this music coming from? Can't lie, I would check, uh, read book. Sorry, but like, just can't read. Let me not be. Let me be real. She can't read. You can only read fucking. She's only good at maths because she's always on shopping. <laughs> Shit. Not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. But who am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? We ain't getting her once, lads. Trust. I, I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> oh, Mike's gonna get great. fucked up here. Trust. Hey, you know that? <laughs> Hiding, little chickadee. Oh! Ah. Hey! Oh, snap! <laughs> Hello? Come on. Hey, Mike! Boom! Shakalaka! Okay. Now you got me. Fair enough. Okay. <laughs> can't hide from me, Michael. I know all your tricks. Oh yeah, don't move, vibrates. Oh yeah, that just reminded me. Oh shit, I always forget. When you don't, when you go into don't move, it vibrates. Or oh, violation. Oh, we're gonna get fucked up here, lads. It's gonna be a bit peak. Whoa! Ow! Oh, oh, and then what? Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, more. Oh, you're going down. <laughs> uh, gotcha. Done. Done city. So did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. <laughs> Cheeky right. wink. Right. My, my. So are we calling it my favor then? You're a worthy opponent. Miss Jessica, the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. Be flirty with it. Ah! Oh, ho, ho. Okay. Okay, you're really gonna get it. What am I gonna get? Well, I can think of at least one thing. Yeah. So you'll have to wait <laughs> until later. <laughs> we should get out of the lodge. Yeah. It's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Quote, unquote. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. Hmm. Who is that? I don't remember seeing that one. Oh, chapter two. Hmm. What I'm trying to realize. <sighs> what was it I was trying to realize? Oh, yeah. I think we just need to be fucking good with this girl. And how are we feeling? Hmm? Why? I trust that you have stayed in the company of good friends since our last session. This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Now pick up that book. Turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Mm -hmm. I 
I'm actually going to pick a woman, because a, wo uh, a man ain't going to break my heart, but like, you already know, so I've already done it. Oof. Planes. I hate underwater shit. If I was swimming in the ocean, I actually don't know what I'll do. I'll be shitting myself. I don't understand rats. I've seen a rat before. I don't understand the... Only the disease a a aspect is what I understand from it. If I see a cockroach, I'm having a different reaction if I saw a snake. If I saw a snake, a snake is just a weird thing to look at. It's like a spider. Like a spider has too much legs. A fucking snake has nothing. How are you alive? Where is, where is your shit? Uh, clowns scare me. Uh, uh, I'm never being scared of clowns. 2016 time. Where there's fucking scary clown. Let me just say pandemic because everyone was doing it. It was everywhere. That shit never scared me. Clowns are just. Uh, Gore doesn't disgust me. It's when it's fucking broken bones. That's when it fucks me up. Like, that shit is nasty. Broken bones just weirds me out. I actually can't think about it right now. You can't get me, dog. Did I startle you? So sorry. You're doing very well. Clock, Hopefully clock not. how the room changed. How once we get to the mountain, it's the same lighting. It's clock. Try to speed up a bit. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. If I saw a big ass spider, it would be scarier. But a snakes, yeah. I don't know. That's the same. If I saw a small, uh, I'm more go discuss me more than I don't. I'm not really scared of needles. If it broke, and I just it's not that peak. When needles break inside of you, I'm not really scared of that. Yeah, I walk dead killed it for me still. In real life, that'll be terrifying though. Keep note of this. The things that I'm saying. When it says, oh, go discuss me. Wherever I pick, it's going to be peak. Just wait. This is very interesting. Thank you for answering so diligently. diligently. <sighs> Snakes, scarecrows, and awful. <laughs> Some combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> Uh, oh, oh. I'm so fucking dumb. Well, I'm afraid. Once again, we're out of time. Off. I promise. We'll talk again. I'm thinking. I'm talking about Sanos. My bad. 